This video will discuss the American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer Surgery Standard 5.7, which deals with total mesorectal excision. Recently, the ACS adopted six operative standards for Commission on Cancer accreditation. This video focuses on Standard 5.7, total mesorectal excision, and its proper documentation reflected in the CAP Pathology Synoptic Report. The new operative standard for TME is comprised of these three components. We will discuss each aspect of the new standard in full detail. Briefly, the standard is such that one, TME is properly performed for patients undergoing curative intent, radical surgical resection of mid to low rectal tumors centered at or below the peritoneal reflection, dissecting in the correct plane, keeping the fascia propria of the rectum intact. Two, TME should result in a complete or near-complete total mesorectal excision. And three, pathology reports for resections of rectal adenocarcinoma document the quality of the TME resection as complete, near-complete, or incomplete in the synoptic format. This documentation is no longer optional in the synoptic report, but required. Implementation of this standard should start in 2021 as site visits in 2022 will assess for 70% compliance with this standard. We will now address each of the components of this standard and how programs can successfully achieve compliance with this operative standard. TME as a standard. TME has been long recognized to improve oncologic outcomes in rectal cancer surgery since the landmark analysis by the Stockholm Colorectal Cancer Study Group. After implementing a surgical training program for TME, they assess two-year operative outcomes. Patients treated with TME benefited from improved two-year local recurrence-free and overall survival rates. Importantly, though, it is not enough to perform a TME, but it must be performed well. Complete TME specimens are associated with improved overall recurrence and two-year overall survival rates amongst patients with already negative margins, indicating a negative microscopic margin alone is not enough to maximize benefit to the patient and that the quality of the TME specimen matters. Next, we will discuss standard documentation as part of standard 5.7. The quality of the TME is scored by the pathologist based on the standardized CAP definitions. The terms complete, near complete and incomplete must appear on the synoptic report and are defined based on characteristics of the TME specimen. Notably, the score is given based on the lowest score for any particular area of the specimen and not on the specimen as a whole. Complete TME is defined as an intact mesorectum with a smooth surface containing only minor irregularities. The specimen must have no surface defects greater than five millimeters and no coning of the specimen towards the distal margin at the levator complex. Near complete TME is defined as moderate bulk of the mesorectum with minor irregularities to the mesorectal surface, some greater than five millimeters, but not down to the muscularis propria. Incomplete TME contains little to no bulk of the mesorectum with full thickness defects down to the muscularis propria. The circumferential margin may also have irregular borders. These gross specimens illustrate and contrast the appearance of a complete and incomplete TME. One can readily appreciate the full thickness defects of the TME of the incomplete specimen as compared to the complete specimen with multiple areas of visible muscularis propria. Further, the mesorectal border is no longer smooth and regular in appearance. This is an example of the CAP synoptic pathology report for rectal cancer, illustrating what the pathologist must select in completing the report for any given surgical resection for rectal cancer. Many institutions may have something similar integrated into their electronic medical record. However, this form represents the standard from the CAP protocol manual. This is the critical aspect of the pathology report, which is no longer an optional field to complete for the CAP report and now must be included for every surgical resection to be in compliance with Operative Standard 5.7. Here we will address the timeline to compliance with Standard 5.7. As of January 2021, 
centers should be measuring their own compliance using CAP synoptic reporting to achieve the required 70% compliance with this standard. Site reviews will begin in 2022 and will assess pathology reports from 2021. Goal compliance for the initial site review is 70%. In 2023 and then 2024, reviewers will assess for 80% compliance with this standard. Finally, we address some strategies to optimize compliance with standard 5.7. First, surgeons must dictate the indication for TME, including curative intent surgery for rectal cancers, and also their measure of performance of the TME specimen. Communication between the surgeon and the pathologist regarding standard 5.7 will help aid pathologists in recognizing that the specimen requires scoring of the TME specimen and assist registrars in coding relevant information. We encourage each institution to discuss amongst surgeons, pathologists, and registrars how tumor location will be documented, as this will be key to registrars understanding to which cases this standard will apply. The CSSP recommends that surgeons document low to mid-rectal tumor on the operative report for all of these operations. Next, pathologists must routinely include the quality of the mesorectal specimen in their CAP synoptic pathology reports. And lastly, education of all relevant staff and communication between these staff at multidisciplinary tumor boards is highly recommended to better disseminate this new operative standard. To review, standard 5.7 requires that TME is performed for patients undergoing curative intent, radical surgical resection of mid to low rectal tumors, centered at or below the peritoneal reflection, and dissecting in the correct plane, keeping the fascia propria of the rectum intact. Additionally, the TME should result in a complete or near-complete total mesorectal excision. Pathology reports for resections of rectal adenocarcinoma must document the quality of the TME resection as complete, near-complete, or incomplete in synoptic format. Finally, Implementation of this standard should start in 2021 as site visits for 2022 will assess for 70% compliance with the standard. Thank you for your time and attention. Please see these resources for more information and for templates to synoptic pathology and operative reports. Any questions may be directed to cssp at facs.org.